After eating our apple cheese sandwich and sesame milk, we can do some light reading and then get our day started. Okay, we're wandering Keelung City again. It's 32 degrees. Oh, cruise. Holy. Nice shirt. We're going to eat. Where are we eating? Mossburger. Mossburger. Food has it? Fries. Yeah. And a tea? You want to try it? Yeah. Regardless of what we like in the upper menu, it's much easier to point to the menu on the table. It looks a little different. Eating at Moss Cafe. We saved a spot for you. It's for our audience. <laughs> is this hash brown? Chicken nuggets. Okay, so one for you, one for me. Oh, that is a foam substance. Huh? Oh, that's rice. Here we have our main course, the rice burger, and the chicken rice burger with tomato and mango sauce. Yeah. This is hash brown. This is the sharing meal, yeah. Instead of bread, it's got two um, rice patties. Looks like beef. Lettuce. Rice patties. I like that beef. You got something on your um yeah, there you go. You got it. Without the sauce, the rice holds together better. While we eat, I pick up new Filipino words from B. Malakit. Glutinous. Glutinous. The fries are big, halfway between potato wedges and McDonald's fries. That's like it's still potato, but it's like crispy. Mm. This is different. It's fresher than McDonald's chicken nuggets. Hash brown. All this came to about $13 US. All this food is relatively cheap, affordable. But um, napkins are at a premium here. <laughs> what is Chinese sauce? I think it's like Soylent Green. Soylent Green is It is, it's like a sweet and sour sauce. Foreign ketchup. It just tastes like ketchup. I like their tea. It's not as dark as American tea. On the way out, I spot a magazine rack. The magazines say that the trade wars with China are disrupting semiconductor companies in Taiwan, like the one where B works. This Moss Burger has a gift shop, which we don't have time or cash to stop at right now. Oh. These places are everywhere in Taiwan. Let's see what all we got here. They've got earbuds, electronics, headphones, toys, more toys, other stuff. Lingerie, apparently. And boy, do they love Toy Story. And it's not just because of the fourth movie coming out, either. Look, even the claw machines are called Toy Story. And a whole slew of licensing. Iron Man, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, and uh, Winnie the Pooh, and uh, Winnie the Pooh, Charlie Brown, Daisy Duck, Doraemon. 100 new Taiwan dollars is about three bucks, so let's get some change. Oh, that's close. I gotta get in the center. Ah. Oh. More and more, I'm learning the dynamics of these cheating claw machines. Ludicrous. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's much cheaper than American claw machines. A t-shirt in there. <laughs> we move on to a place called the Yellow Store. The name given by the local Filipino workers because no one actually knows the name of the store. It's a pinnacle of convenience stores. It's kind of like a Dollar General. They have pretty much anything from electronics to health and beauty. I 
That's right, I was gonna look for a selfie stick. If you uh, want to know the majority of what we do here in Taiwan, it's mostly just waiting at the bus stop. Hey, wake up. It's selfie time. Riding the bus is kind of like being crammed in like sardines and shaken about. B has gone to sleep before her second night shift, and I am moving into my next motel room. Ooh. This is an interesting architectural choice. I kind of feel like I'm in a McDonald's though. Left to my own devices, I decided to make the best of it. I'm in the shops of Keelong City out and about while my regular partner in crime is at work, so I need to uh, find something to do. I was curious about shopping for clothing in Taiwan, so I decided to stop in a little hole-in-the-wall mom-and-pop shop. An interesting experience, so I picked out a pair of pants that looked a little bit cheaper. All the sizing here is really confusing. They hand-hemmed it, which is nice. Turns out it was a $50 pair of pants. Oh. They even have food courts in the temples here. I'll be honest, I'm not very hungry, but I thought I would be remiss if I didn't cover this. You put it on a stick? You make America proud. I think I'm gonna have to swing through a second time. I asked what was in this. She said she asked she, one dollar. Don't really know how to describe it. Good. Last but not least. Mm, sweet and ready. Something like chili in the middle, which is also sweet. It's a good one to finish off with. I don't even know what time it is. All I did was I bought a pair of pants and then some food and wandered around a lot. Time to find a garbage can. Asked and answered. They take care of it for you. Leave it at the table. A lot 
a squid. Cuttlefish. Thick soups. Crab thick soup. Glutinous oil rice. Pig's blood soup. And then I hear that tune akin to an ice cream truck that I hear day and night pass by the motel. Finally get to find out what that music is coming from. If I'm not mistaken, that was a trash truck. Seems to be some kind of an alarm to let people know to come take their trash out. It's a nice way of doing it. I have to say, it's just like any big city. So we're heading to the uh, pier, just to see what we can see. Average price of a shoe in the Nike store, on the low range, I guess, 1,300. You're rounding down, it's about 40, 50 bucks. They have the occasional walkways that go underneath the street. From down on the pier, you can see Keelung spelled out in lights. And overlooking the harbor stands an even larger sign right on top of the hill, just like in Hollywood. I spent all that time waiting for the light to turn green. I could have just been walking up the skywalk. Occasionally in the skywalks and the underpasses, you'll see a homeless person and maybe their dog. Don't let anyone tell you that Keelong is just a podunk town in the middle of nowhere. It is most definitely a bustling urban environment. One. Eleven? One is eleven. I'll have uh, four. Oh, thank you. She took my trash. Yeah. I don't think I got my change. That's quite a tip. Welcome to the High Club Net Cafe, electronic sports, leisure entertainment, game. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest gamer, and I don't exactly have time. Not to mention the language barrier. But it is interesting. The question is, where am I? No matter where you are in this city, it's safe to say you're at a 7-Eleven. Keelung Station. It's the train station. I enjoy the architecture. And a stray dog wonders, who's been here? Now what's this? Nothing's labeled. It must be a mystery prize. There's a shot that I want of the harbor, and I wander through the bus station and up to higher ground to get it. I might be running a little later than I expected, but hey, I'm Chris K, the film guy, and I want my shot. Remember the cruise ship from this morning? Oh, cruise, holy cow. Well, there it stands, like a skyscraper floating on the water. It even dwarfs the building behind it. From the sidewalk, I also get a nice view of the fishing vessels. Time to head back to the motel. 
And of course, no city is complete without Starbucks. They're everywhere. Yes, I'm tired. Waiting at a bus stop. And a vending machine. Milk tea. B loves milk tea. I think I'll try some. Why not? Let's see if it takes a 50. Oh yeah, it does. Oh. Nice. I wonder if this is any good. Well, that's interesting. That's not what I'm used to. While I wait for the bus, I use my extra change to buy another one. The bus makes several stops in town. I have no idea how long the ride is, and I'm concerned about missing my stop. Where am I? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. I decided to stop at a 7-Eleven for some goodies. Hey, check that out. I didn't know that Nissan made UFOs. Alright, my tour guide is at work. After wandering the streets of Keelung alone, I have now returned to my motel room where apparently the AC was more of an afterthought. I failed to put some drinks in the fridge, so I got myself a nice cold beer. Classic Taiwan beer. 100 years. And it's 10 o'clock, so what more of an excuse do I have to Taiwan on? Come on, that's funny. At first taste, it's a beer. Oh, rice. It's brewed with rice. Cool. That's nice. With the air conditioner finally kicking in, and with a long day finally taking its toll, I am ready to hit the hay and prepare for another adventure tomorrow in Taiwan. <laughs>